We rolling. Mm. Right. So this video is not going to be too long and intrusive. Um, I'm just going to speak about essentially the very first mod I did to this car when I bought it. Um, it wasn't something I, well, it's something I originally planned to do, but I didn't think I was going to do it straight away. Um, and it's the doubled in stereo. So uh, we're just going to go over essentially why I got it in the first place, um, how much it costs and the functionality of it. Um, because there are a few fair people that I've spoken to um, or that I've seen on um, forums debating on whether they should get it because it's not a cheap change to do on an FN2, but it's definitely worth it. Spoiler alert. Anyway, let's go. So, um, just start it up. Now, starting it up, first con is it does take a tiny bit of time for this doubled in, in for this exact doubled in to kick into life and start actually playing your music. Um, it comes up with this warning sign which stays there for 10 seconds and no matter what you do, unless someone in the comments can tell me who has this doubled in, um, has done to get rid of that message, you can't actually get rid of it, it just stays there. Um, but it's fine, you can just click agree quickly and get rid of it. So this is like the home page, if you will, of the sound system. Um, you could choose to play your music offline, so you can just press the... Who's doing that? Obviously, Matt Miller. Um, we'll get onto the sound in a second. Um, but yeah, that's basically the offline player. If you have an Android phone and you have an SD stick, um, SD stick, wow, SD card, um, you can play offline music on this here, outside of Android Auto, which is something I'll get onto, or Apple CarPlay. Um, and yeah, so it's great. Now, the next function, obviously, you have um, your phone. Now, the phone book on here is a bit annoying outside of Android Auto. Um, and I keep referring to Android Auto because that's what I use, I have an Android phone. Um, because every single time you go to the phone book, you have to download it each time. So every time you turn off the car, you have to download it when you turn it back on, on here. It's all right if you haven't got any friends. Yeah, it's all right if you haven't got any friends, like it's good. That's why yours isn't downloaded. Yeah, 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 that's it. I've got absolutely no one in my contacts apparently. <laughs> All right, so you've got all of these different buttons on the left-hand side. You've got your volume to increase, um, volume to decrease. Um, you've got your home page and your power button. So essentially to turn the screen off. Um, so if you were to touch it, it turns the screen off, run it back on, turn it back on. Um, your microphone function, which again, you won't really use outside of Android Auto. Um, and then you've got your options for changing your output or input. It might be worth showing you the equalizer as well on this because it's pretty good, um, as Callum can vouch for. What you want to do is you go to this button here where you pick the options. You then go to audio. Uh, you've got equalizer. You've got all your different sound effects. You can choose which speaker plays the most volume, all of that good stuff, as you would expect. And here is your equalizer. Now, for us, uh, I say us as in me and Callum, we prefer having we prefer having our audio more bass heavy than anything else. Um, not necessarily going down the street playing drum and bass at 100 in volume, but just essentially the meat of the song, in our opinion, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The meat. Yeah, the meat, exactly. It's the best <laughs> part of the sandwich. So, yeah. So if we go back to the just home screen, and then if I plug in my phone, we're now going to get to Android Auto. So when you plug it in, it automatically picks it up once you've set it up, once you've connected your phone. And then it automatically starts playing Spotify, which is excellent. I've got this song already preloaded so I can kind of play how this, how it affects the speakers. Now, Android Auto itself um, transforms the car, in my opinion, especially as a daily driver. So you've got your maps here, um, which is fine. Um, it just kind of says roughly where you are time 4g battery it does charge your phone at the same time as well um so on the fn2 what i've done is i've got the cable running from the back of here it comes out of this little compartment and it's tucked away my armrest where i keep my phone because my phone is too big to keep anywhere here um so 
and also the microphone installed here. I'll, it's actually worth saying here, I got, I think it was a company called Dynamic Sounds in London. Um, you can Google them. They installed this for me. It wasn't cheap, it was about 200 pounds to install, but I've got to say the job that they did was amazing. And it did not take long, did it? About an hour? Yeah. 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 And they, so they provide this interface, like this um, interface, sorry. Trim. Like this template trim, if you will, right? As part of the installation package. Um, I provided the double din. I'll tell you how much I paid for that in a little bit. Um, and yeah, they installed it. They ran the mic nicely. You can't see any cables at all. Nope. And not at any point in time have I struggled with the mic pick up on this. Right, so I'll demonstrate that now since we're talking about it. Um, if I press this button here and I say call dad, no calling pressure. dad mobile, simple, and it will change from Spotify to calling in my dad, which I'll cancel now because we don't want to hear him. Um, and if I say anything like take me to the nearest petrol station. Navigating to Harvest Service Station. There, let me try this. Message Dad. Okay, message to Dad. Do you want to use SMS or WhatsApp? WhatsApp. What's the message? Your car is filthy. <laughs> Here's your WhatsApp message to Dad. Your car is filthy. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. It's on its way. And my dad will literally get that message nice. through WhatsApp. So you can pick it through text or WhatsApp. Um, it gives you notifications when you do get WhatsApps. Uh, you can mute them and when they come through. Um, and yeah, it's honestly just amazing. Um, so then here, this is the button that you pick for the applications that you want to use on Android Auto. Um, you have maps, you have Spotify, you have play music, which I've never met anyone in my lifetime that ever uses that. <laughs> um, you've got your phone, you've got your calendar, uh, news meetings. The calendar is very good because when you have an appointment, say for example, when I'm on the way to um, meet it, going to a different site for work purposes or anything like that, or even like a birthday appointment, which those are the time recently I do put in because I forget that, um, it will pop up saying uh, you've got uh, birthday or whatever at such and such time um which is really handy um so yeah now we're just kind of gonna get onto the main the main the main feature really is maps um and it's great it works just like it does on your phone it just amplifies it when your headlights come on it goes dark uh when it goes off it goes back to light which is great um and it, it works fine. That's the main feature. But the second best feature really is how Spotify works. Um, so we'll have it here. And we're just going to touch back on sound. The sound, the speakers, I can't speak for all FM2s. There you go. That's my dad replying back. Let me see what he says. <laughs> dad says, I take it you are offering to wash it then. Do you want to reply? <laughs> no. Okay. And that's it. Um, so yeah, um, the, I can't speak for all FN2s, but the speakers that came with this car, I imagine they haven't been upgraded or anything like that, um, are amazing. But you don't realize how good they are until you get a double din and you can set the sound how you want it. Um, it really does boost it. So I'm gonna start playing Mac Miller now. Turn it down a little bit so you can hear us talking still. Baby, the weather was strong, whether it's hot or cold. We're coming knocking on your door. Well, I'm a, I'm a maintain, I'm staying so high. But you gotta run away until we touch the sky. And you know you're dead wrong, you would love with a lie. All I, all I, all I wanna do is free your mind. We don't see no see? lines. We don't it's, it really does enhance the bass. Mm. Um, and the sound quality as well is so good. It's made this as a daily driver just so comfortable um, and great. Another song just to kind of enhance the whole bass thing. You can't beat heard him say because honestly the bass is ridiculous. When the volume goes up, it's a bit too loud for the video. I'll turn it down. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's honestly great. It's honestly so good. Um, Another thing I wanted to mention as well, the controls 
on the steering wheel are fully functional with this. So you've obviously got, I believe this is change, not channel. I call it change now. Um, this skips the track, um, up skips the track, obviously minus goes down the track. Um, you've got your volumes as per usual, as it's meant to work. Um, mode changes whether you're in Android Auto, off Android Auto, or anything like that. Obviously, cruise control and all of that stuff is as it is anyway. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's, again, it's not cheap. I paid about £295 for this one second hand. It only been used for like two months or so and the person sold the car and took it out and sold it on eBay. But you can get these new for like £495 at the time. Um, whether that's still the case now, they might be cheaper. Um, I got this last year, so that's that. And then fitting was another £200 or so. Um, so it's not cheap to do, but it is so, so, so worth it. It's so worth it. Especially as a daily driver, honestly, it's amazing. And the main thing, this is the last point I was going to say, the main reason why I did this, when I first got this car, because of the Picasso vibes, <laughs> right, of the dash and the way it sloped, when I had my phone cradle in the vents, literally I'd put my phone here, either sideways or up, upwards, even on the windscreen. Well, I didn't want to put it on the windscreen actually because the windscreen is so big and it's so long and like... I've just got another car. I wanted, I did want a car that had, that I could just have to screen here, even if it's on my phone. Um, and it just, every time there was sun, you can't see anything on your phone. Like you, you couldn't, it was so bad. Um, and I just thought, okay, you know what? I'll hurry up the process of getting this done and did it. Um, and I genuinely don't have any regrets. I always say there's different mods that I like more than, the others but the one that's had the most impact in regards to daily living at least it's definitely the double done it certainly made it much more modern inside doesn't it? yeah it sets off the interior so much more mm. um and even my friends my friend james said that because uh, he's got an fn2 as well um he had it done on his car um and he just said like it honestly makes the interior so much better um it makes it look a lot more newer than it actually is um, and the interior on these are great anyway, but this just makes it that much nicer. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Indeed. There's nothing else really to say. Um, if you're in two minds about it, my advice, even our advice, would actually be to do it. Honestly, just save up money and do it. You don't have to get a fancy, fancy system. Like, I was lucky I found this one at the price it was. Um... But it's so worth it. It's honestly so worth it. Apple CarPlay works well on this as well. I don't have an app, an iPhone to hand to um, demonstrate it, but I've used it with my little brother and his cable on the cable, on the attachment to the double dinner. It's amazing. It's great. Um, the touchscreen is not laggy. The only thing, I, the, the only cons I said really were at the beginning with the um, warning screen with this particular sound system. I don't know if all of them do that um that's kind of annoying the other one is you can wipe the screen clean just like this it's nice and clean you know like you've washed your interior you spent time waxing your car outside cleaning it inside and then you'll just have someone to come and yeah oh, <laughs> that's horrible yeah oh another function that's fancy with this one very shortly let me disconnect my phone so it uses the Bluetooth. And it only works outside of Android Auto. Um, but when when your Bluetooth is connected um, and you've got music playing, as it will shortly when it wakes up its mind, yep. Um, if I want to turn up the volume, like a circular motion, that way. There's other stuff as well. There's other um, actual functions that you can use, but yeah, but that's quite handy. Um, so yeah, I think that's that. If you do like the videos that we're doing, the content that we're doing on both our cars and other cars in the future, um, then subscribe, like it, show it. It honestly does help. It really, really does. It encourages us to keep going and pushing on and getting better with it because we are newbies, but we're getting there. So yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice.